Hi and welcome to the live demo of ITF LMSHS Intelligent Energy and Production Management System. ITF started the power movement with the consortium purchase of thermal power and thereafter ITF has undertaken various power saving projects such as thermal imaging cameras, LEDs, harmonics, air audits, airflow meters, plant automation, upgrading to new generation motors, energy efficient fans and now the IEPMS, Intelligent Energy and Production Management System. I would like to thank Mr. Prabhu Dhamadran, the Secretary of IDF, for being the driving force, Mr. Gopi, the brain behind this project, Mr. Ilango, and Team Sangi for their passion and consistent contribution, Mr. Manoj and Mr. Vasant for supporting and nourishing the idea all the way through, Mr. Srihari, the all-rounder, the entire team of Saumya Mills for making this work, and of course, Team El Masher for partnering with IDF and making this work. Let's go ahead with the demo now. All you need is a browser to use the software. In the address bar, you need to type in the IP address that's assigned to you. In case you would like to access the data outside your mill premises, you will need a static IP with a working internet connection. This is the login page. You need to enter your user ID and password. A mill can have about two to three user ID and password, and you can set permission levels. The page opens up in carding. So here, this is the present shift efficiency of that particular department, which is carding in this case. The previous shift efficiency and the shift before that, the department, the present shift which is highlighted that's what you're seeing here in case it's about 9 p.m. now in case you want to go back and see shift 1 data it's quite easy it's today yesterday you can also view monthly data you can also customize the period that you want to see it's a 10 day data or 15 day data on a particular day everything is possible these four parameters the average production UKG breaks and downtime these four parameters will be common for all the departments in preparatory. So the T that you see here is the total production, the H is the hourly production, and this is the graph. I'll explain to you one by one. When I click on T, you can see the production, the total production of every card, and the total production in that particular shift is about 4,392 kilos so far. You can see all these are highlighted in pink because they haven't achieved the targets. And this particular mission has stopped, hence it's highlighted in red. If I click on hourly production, you can see all the missions are running just fine. But for card number 10, which has not achieved the hourly production target, and card number 13 is stopped. Next, the graph. You can compare the average production with any of these parameters. Average production, total production, UKG, you can compare it with anything. For instance, I'm comparing average production with, let's say, average UKG. I click show. You can see the chart with average production and average UKG. It's another interesting parameter called energy loss. Click on it and click show. You can see cards number 16, 10, and 9 have high energy loss. That means the offer is idled without any actual production. So that's the energy loss. Going to breaks now. All the green ones are perfectly normal. The ones that are highlighted in pink, of course, have higher breaks. See, only four cards have. Uh, abnormal breaks is so obviously something wrong with carding number 9, 10 and 16 with higher breaks. Everything seems to be working just fine. Uh, please bear in mind that the breaks data cannot be uh, just obtained by L measure. Um, the mills electrical team have to cooperate because it varies from machine to machine. So unless and until the mill cooperates with L measure, we cannot have an accurate breakage data. 
next downtime. The downtime of various cards. Everything, all the cards seem pretty fine. But for card number 10, which had a downtime of 24 minutes, here, yeah. gonna go back to the average production again. You can see that it's pretty much a very simple, very basic uh, you know, color coded user interface. I'm gonna go to average UKG. You see this uh, 0.149 and uh, this point one two six you might wonder what difference does it make anyway so we'll show you this is probably the card with the highest ukg this is the average ukg the difference is only 0 0.02 ukg the production priority is about 880 kilograms with a power price of seven rupees the savings is about 129 rupees per day 3,800 rupees per month, which translates to 50,000 per annum. Just a saving of 0 0.02 UKG could save you about 50,000 per card per annum. Be amazing. Similarly, you can view the data of all the other departments. Say, if you want to view drawing, the draw frame department. You can see uh, the RSB machines are stopped here, they highlight in red color and uh, the breaker seems to be working just fine but for one which has not achieved the productivity. As far as brakes are concerned, they're pretty normal. Um, you can see these are working just fine. The FB means the front brakes and the BB means the back brakes or the creel brakes. The front brakes which happens in the drafting section or the coiler, the back brakes are nothing but the creel brakes. So the data is very accurate. Similarly, you, you have average production, UKG downtime, the similar data that you saw for carding. I'm going to show you uh, another thing how to generate reports. Click on reports, it's a deviation report. Then you select the department, say carding. And then select the log report. Say I want last night's log report. Select 23rd. 23rd. Click on Shift 3. Then click on Download Report. It's done. So, ready to open the report. Yeah. There's the report. <laughs> All right. Quite interesting data. So you look at it, cards number three and four, it says high in production, uh, which means uh, it's about 23 kilos higher than set target, about 27 kilos higher than set target. Either the machine performed phenomenally well or there were some speed increase. It could be anything, it has to be looked into. And uh, this, of course, these are the machines with lower production here go down. These are the machines with high UKG. These are the machines with higher brakes and downtime. Basically any deviation pops up. It's very very interesting because um, it's just like a memo, an instant deviation report. You don't even have to analyze the data. I'm going to go back to the software. How do we set these deviation reports? Go to settings. Click on parameter setting. You will now have the list of machines and the parameters to set. So a mill may have two different kind of cards. So the production with different production rates and different power consumption. So you can set all of it. So you can set the average production, the tolerance, the total production, the total tolerance, the UKG breaks, and all of the data. Go back. To just view the set data, click on parameter value. Here you can view the set value. You can also print this page up. And uh, here you see a setting date, which has a date and a time, which means when the 
the value was last changed something like you know, the whatsapp last seen time let's go back to the dashboard again so this is a very very simple easy to use easy to understand dashboard works very easily I click on breaks for instance I'm clicking on breaks you see cards number 12 10 9 and 16 they have higher breaks let's go to UKG you see the same cards have higher UKG so which means higher the breaks lower the production higher the UKG it makes sense let's go back to the presentation this uh, I guess is uh, the first of its kind in the country with production power quality all in one place live production data you don't have to from anywhere across you don't have to wait until the shift ends or the day ends you can you can track the shift progress then and there live power you don't have to wait six months or a year for a power audit it's 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 a 24 7 monitored audit there's no post-mortem report here you see a deviation you arrest immediately you save money done live quality you can see how your machines are performing they have higher breaks or lower breaks or if a particular machine has higher breaks all of the data all of the data in one page and the deviation reports that we saw according to a set value it automatically brings up the deviations and on average you know on an average sized 25,000 uh, spindle mill can save about one crore per annum very easily if uh, the energy conservation measures are properly implemented this is how it is you know to save about 4,000 units per day if you save about 4,000 units per day at unit cost of 7, 360 days, you save about 1 crore per annum. And the savings could be, uh, I, mean the, I mean, the investment required could vary from mill to mill. You know, a mill might want to um, upgrade the plant, you know, do a plant automation, or it could be an upgradation of motors. It could be anything. Another interesting way of looking at it is to generate the same amount of energy, say 4,000 units per day at 360 days, about 15 lakh units per annum. You will have to invest about 5 crores, that is you probably may be investing 10 or 20 lakhs to save uh, this, uh, you know, this 4,000 units per day. But to generate the same amount of energy, you will be spending about 5 crores. It's a nice way of looking at it. So I, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, thanks for watching i would like to uh, end this presentation with a thought saying that an idea is merely imagination just merely an imagination without implementation we wish you all the best from team itf thank you very much